What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Yeah, that was me subscribing with my finger. Tap subscribing. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, guys. We do videos 365 days a year, two times every single day. So when Christmas comes, which is a huge holiday, I will still have two videos released that day. Watch. It's going to happen. I even have a special little Christmas video. With that said, I have a couple of news stories, a handful of questions. Let's dive into the tech news. Our first story of the day is about the Galaxy S22 Ultra and their 108 megapixel camera and how much, potentially, it's improved and how it's improved over last generation. So check this out. This tweet is coming from Ice Universe who has reportedly seen some samples of this. And he goes on to say that compared to the default 108 megapixel picture quality, S22 Ultra's new AI, which is artificial intelligence, picture quality enhancement mode can make 108 megapixel better in detail, color, and brightness. And like I said, he does have a thing that says I've seen the comparison sample, but he cannot share it. So this is, we keep hearing great things, at least from him, not so many much any other people, because it doesn't seem like many other people have seen samples from these cameras. And we're hearing a lot of great things, especially compared to last year. It was a great camera, took really good photos. You know, uh, my complaint about it is a lot of the time, especially with basically every Samsung phone is the shutter speed. You know, I'm taking a picture of somebody. If there's not complete, complete optimal lighting, the photos, especially of people really come out a little bit crappy, blurry, un, you know, not completely satisfied. Unlike what you get usually with a Pixel or an iPhone, but still, Stuff we're hearing about this seems like they're using a lot more AI in their photos. Maybe improved AI should be the better part of what I'm saying than what they've done previously. So I'm very, very excited to see this. And AI, obviously, if you see it on Pixel phones, it does crazy work with it, amazing work. Next up is what the exact look of the Galaxy S22 Ultra green color is going to look like because we have found out the color exact like color number for it and the people over at let's go digital have created a render based off of that and their headline says the s22 ultra 5g green ice universe reveals details of the green variant s22 ultra these 3d product renders show the new top model from samsung in the exact color code and you can see it's a nice deep dark green i think a lot of people are going to want this color i know i'm looking at it and i'm like damn that's kind of fresh that's kind of a uh, kind of bit of a color that i definitely want i can live with that i can dig that i can see you know the s pen coming out green that'd be great uh the dark green on the back of the phone it's classy it looks nice it looks different than what is the color on other phones it's great for christmas it's great if you live up north with the pine trees and the beautiful smell of the fresh air what do you guys think about that color? Is that a color you'd think about getting? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. First question comes from Weekend Warrior to answer that monochrome question. It's the bedtime alarm setting, just turning it off in alarm setting. So what he's talking about is, I got a question yesterday about someone had a watch and a, phone, a Samsung phone, and when they did something on their watch, it turned the setting on their screen like dark gray on the phone and they couldn't figure it out. So that's what he's talking about. I couldn't remember what it was, but that's the setting. So just mess with that setting and you'll be all good. Edgar Baez says, hey Greg, are you charging your Z Fold 3 for the S22? No, char changing, changing, he says. I, I said charging, but he meant changing. No, I'm not. I will trade in my S21 Ultra for the S22 Note. Eddie Driver says, I've had the Z Fold 3 from day of release in the UK. Are you finding uh, it does not, it don't fold flat as it used to? Mine seems to have a slight curve to it when fully open. It's not major, but slightly annoying. Cheers. I keep mine in the case and I haven't really messed with it too much in terms of like, do I, does it not sit flat? I haven't noticed. I did do a video recently. Let me just put it on my desk. I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I mean, slight, I guess. You can see. Does it seem not straight? You guys let me know in the comments down below. But to me, it doesn't look too bad. New York's Finest says, as you already know, Google started charging for their storage. 
I have 512 gigabyte storage in my Note 10 Plus and S22 won't have the SIM card. Which free unlimited photo storage app do you recommend for me to store my photos, photos when I switch over to the S22 Ultra? I don't have a free one for you. I personally use Google's Photos and I pay for it. I pay for the two terabyte plan. I find it completely worth it. I love the way they organize their photos. It's easy to find them. You can search by keywords. I don't know of a free one for you. I think Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, they give you free photo storage, I believe. You can look into Amazon that if you have Amazon Prime. Other than that, I'd probably say just get Google Photos. It's totally worth it. Timothy Hammock says, question someone coming from an LG wing or anyone with LG's device, should they upgrade to the Z Fold 3 or the S22 Ultra or the Z Fold 4 or the new roll? What would you recommend coming from an LG wing? Thank you and my early Merry Christmas to you and your family and Happy New Year's. Thank you so much. Let's put it like this. If you're still really happy with the LG wing, hold out for the Z Fold 4. If it's slowing down, you don't like it, go for the Z Fold 3. And our last question comes from uh, Gage Blackwell. Greg, thank you for your dedication to the daily updates. Here's my question of the day. Have you heard when or when or how American clients will be able to use the blood pressure app on the G uh, Galaxy Watch 4? I thought I was going to be a great addition on the Galaxy Watch 4 functionality, but have yet to take advantage of it. Do you have any insights on it? I haven't heard anything about that. Let me do a quick search to see if I can find anything. So as of September 16, 2021, they were still waiting on Food and Drug Administration to clear it here in the United States. As you know, that kind of stuff can take a long time. That was, I guess, two years ago they were trying to get it approved. I don't have a time frame for you, unfortunately. Thanks for your question, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.